Hi, my name is Neville Southall. I'm a former bin man, waiter, hod caddy and professional footballer. Joe have kindly invited me to send you this message at Christmas. I want to start by wishing a very Merry Christmas, or whatever you choose to celebrate. Our diversity as a nation is something I'm proud of, and it's nice that most of us have time off to enjoy it in our own way. But if you're working, like the heroes that make up our precious and underfunded NHS, I've got nothing but respect for you. It's a great time of year for those lucky enough to have family and friends to share it with. But it's not fun for everyone. A lot of people are suffering from loneliness and depression. Some are remembering those they've lost. All I can say is that people that you can talk to, people who care, hopefully you can see some of the numbers at the bottom of the screen who can help. It's been a hard year all round. As we see, those in power tried their best to divide us and break us apart. What happened with the Grenville Tower fire is a perfect example of the powers that be not caring about the little people. Scores of avoidable deaths and thousands of people trying to cope with the loss of their homes and loved ones and have been forgotten. A phony inquiry will take ages and prove nothing whilst people are still waiting to be rehoused. We are government who don't seem to care about us, so we have to care for each other. The fact that more and more people are forced to queue to feed their kids at food banks is a national disgrace. So is the number of people living on the streets. The only thing that makes it bearable is the kind of people doing what they can to help. If you're one of them selfless people volunteering your time and money, I want to say thank you. On a personal level, I've been using social media more and it's been an eye-opening experience. I've learned about the transgender community, inequality and minority issues. I don't have a clue about most of them and I'm really grateful to the people who've took the time and trouble to explain these things to me. There is so much misunderstanding and anger. Maybe one day we'll just accept people for who they are and for what they want to be and just let them live their lives in peace. It doesn't need to be that hard. It doesn't need to be that divisive. I want to tell you about my dad. He was what you call a man's man. He fought in World War II. He had a scar down his chest where he was bayoneted. He went to war as a 16 year old, came home as a 21 year old and came back looking at 65. But this isn't about how strong men were then and what we lost. My dad never spoke about the Germans. He had seen more and killing, he knew how futile hate was. Today, some preach hate, knowing that other people will do the suffering. They talk about returning to the country to a different time, forgetting that the foundation of that time was humanity that they don't possess. And that humanity exists now. I know I've seen it. 2017 has been a tough year, but I'm hopeful about the future. Good people are trying to make the world a better place. They're speaking out about things they care about and won't be silenced. Some bad people are getting what they deserve at last. Sometimes it takes a low point to realise what really matters and come back stronger. Here's to a better 2018. I hope you have a great one. Yes, even you Tories.